Good luck. Well, Elon Musk, you've outdone yourself. When are you gonna put a man on Mars? Well, let me tell you, if I'm gonna be taking the opportunity to go to Mars, I guess I'll just take it, you know? Um, so basically, I'm out here in Alabama, and uh, I'm at a, uh, a rest stop. And uh, let's, go, uh, let's go check this place out, because um, I feel like walking around and stretching after all that driving. No pets allowed. There's people walking dogs around this park, so clearly uh, pets are allowed. So yeah, editor, there are people breaking rules, but I don't care. This is this is Alabama. This ain't Illinois anymore. Uh, I'm done being a house hermit. Done. Uh, I'm done sitting at home on my desk. So yeah, we're uh, we're outside now. We're we're enjoying the outdoors. Saturn IB launch vehicle. Well, isn't Elon Musk going to put me on this thing? Yes, I bet he will. Be careful, because that is barbed wire, and I do not want to touch that. It's a great rest area, honestly. You have all these trees. You have all these uh, wonderful view out here, the blue sky and all that, you know. This is life. This is life. I do intend on staying out here on the road for, uh, for a week. And uh, just, you know fully enjoy whatever it is. Let's go check out this tree right in front of me because uh, I feel like taking a couple shots and you know, doing whatever. Well, hello there, Paul Gasol. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Paul Gasol is gonna be looking at this and saying, yeah, I'm not that tall. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, Paul Gasol. Wish you stayed in the Bulls a little longer because uh, I enjoyed your time in the Bulls, in the Chicago Bulls, you know. Uh, uh, you, you were pretty nice. It's just I wish you stayed a little longer and become more of a regular for the uh, for the Bulls. It'll be really nice, you know. Reporting live here in uh, the state of Florida, I'm at Destin, and uh, let me tell you, it's actually really, really nice out here. So um, I'm still on the clock for uh, for YouTube content, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna be recording a uh, a week long video. Isn't that insane? Uh, you know, a vacation for one week. Um, so basically, um, this footage right here is the uh, the long road trip, um, and pretty sure it's gonna take forever because um, the the seconds are too long. Sorry, I had to put you through that, editor. Anyways, um, so I'm still on the clock for YouTube. Um, um, but right now I am currently uh, sending over some of this footage to my editor. I'm also um, trying to find some uh, some beach music because uh, obviously uh, Destin is a beach town. And also I am currently watching an MMA on point video on uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu versus Luta Livre. And um, in which case there is no Luta Livre school in Illinois. And uh, thanks Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for, uh, for oversaturating yourself. So uh, why can't Luta Livre be in, uh, in mixed martial arts um, curriculums? You know, so uh, I'm gonna be still working while I'm on vacation. So that's, uh, that's gonna be a thing. Oh, and also, um, you know, I just had the brilliant idea. Since I'm out here in Destin, what if there are content houses out here, you know? What if I was a uh, Destin content creator? That's, uh, that sounds nice. That sounds really nice. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be working right now. Well, I'm not wearing glasses, but uh, take a look at this. That's the beach right here. And uh, skating videos 2021, eh? <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. Look at all that view right there. That's nice. That's really nice. The sun is right over there. Look at that. It's really cold. Look at that. I literally look like I'm in like a, a commercial. But uh, oh, this water is so cold. Backing in. I don't want to get this camera wet. This is not my phone. But it also is not uh, by camera. So, okay, that is really, really cold. That is really cold. Look at that. It's really cold. And there goes a wave going in. <sighs> it's cold. It's really, really cold.
So this is the uh, the famous place called uh, Sexton's. What? Uh, yes, that's a very very uh, interesting name for uh, for a fish store. But basically, uh, this place sells shrimp and fish, fresh, as you can see right over there. Thanks, editor. Now I'm about to go inside through the door, right over here. Let's go in. I just pulled the, the handle instead of pushing it. That's fresh fish right there. Let's go take a look. That's a lot of money. Are you trying to pray to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? segment called taste test thanks editor so what i have right in front of me is uh four four snacks um so this one right here is alligator jerky yes i said it, editor alligator jerky because alligators are are native citizens of florida and then we have smoked buffalo right here yeah it looks like a log of poop don't worry about it and then we have cherry maple flavored smoked turkey because turkey is leaner than beef and then we have this was already opened uh so don't mind that this is uh dried pineapple and uh we will give these a try there's one more uh one more photo right here so we're gonna try what are we gonna try first out of all four of these let's go try the uh the dried pineapple right here so you can see that is uh dehydrated and uh still got the uh the sugary uh outside here let's take a look at that see all that sugar so we'll give it a try Ooh, that's that like bottom part is really crunchy. It's really crunchy, and then it like rumbles at like the really top. Dried pineapple. Ooh, ooh, that was yeah. Thanks for zooming in on my face, editor. Let's let's go into the list for beef jerky experience. Hopefully, these will be the uh, the best experience. I know I left out the um, the the alligator because uh, trying that last. I've always wanted to try it for a long time. So actually, let's go skip these two. And head straight to this. Now I need some scissors. It's Power of editing. Isn't it magical? So, alright. After one whole uh, attempt at opening it. What do you mean? Ah, forget about it. So, this is what alligator jerky looks like. Right here. It's like any ordinary piece of uh, jerky. Um, this has pork in it. So, slightly uh, lean. A little bit of fat too. Hopefully, see what alligator tastes like. NANI?! Mm, yeah, thanks for that, uh, zoom in editor. Very greasy, really greasy. Look at that, there's like oil coming out of the, um, <coughs> the thing. I mean, it's alright. There's one thing about alligators, they taste really oily. Yeah, don't tell the mayor of, uh, Dustin that. Just give me a minute. A few moments later. Cherry maple smoked turkey. So let's, uh, let's try this one out. OH NO! Alright, have some smoked turkey right here. Let's break this apart. Look at that color. Take a look at that, that's nice. It's sweet. It's really sweet. The uh, fruit, and you know, sugar, and you have that smoked turkey too. It's a great combination. Sugar, cherry syrup, cherry syrup. Wonder, we, wonder which uh, which store we can we can uh, find that in. 
Thanks for the screenshots. I'm probably going to be viewing that in post-production. I'm going to have another one of these because I like the taste. Mmm. Finally, smoked buffalo. Take a look at the color difference in uh, in these two. It's a lot lighter, a little darker. I want to see how thick it is in between uh, two human teeth. So, uh, editor, so you do this. All right, take out one. This one's less oily than the uh, than the than the alligator one. So compare to the packaging in this one. You see all that oil uh, all over the uh, the plastic on the inside right here. Compare that to the uh, to the other one right here. This one has a lot of oil. This one barely has it. So here we go. Final uh, piece of the beef jerky uh, display here. Let's give it a try. Mmm, peppery. It's like that pepper flavor, um, Bigfoot, uh, beef jerky you see at the, uh, at the grocery store. I still have the, uh, the top part that, um, I use my fingers too when it sizzle off. There's brown sugar and onion. Strong and the sweet at the same time. Alright, so, let's do, uh, a, uh, a, uh, review on all four of these. This one, I have to give it a, uh, a three out of ten because it was really odd having a dry, sweet, sugary, uh, fruit. And then this one, the, uh, the cherry maple smoked turkey. This one I might give a... A, um, a 7 out of 10 because uh, this is really uh, easy on the uh, flavor on the uh, the flavor notes on your tongue I had it to uh, to eat another another piece out of the, uh, the bag and then you have the smoked buffalo um, I give this one a um, I'll give this one a 5 out of 10 it's not bad oh and uh, another thing that I have to add about uh, this uh, about the the dry pineapple it tastes like astronaut food you ever seen um, you ever seen like the um, the dehydrated ice cream from uh, from from the uh, from the candy store put a picture right over here this is what it reminds me of so it's dry and very crunchy so that that is why I give that a three out of ten and then alligator I might have to give this one a six I mean I like it for for as much as I as much as it's worth I mean would I try would I eat it again probably in a couple more years but not now because my tongue is not native to uh, to Florida but yeah th this is uh, this is taste test all right so this bit right here uh, this is future me by the way uh, this will be put for the uh, for yesterday um, so basically I went out um, uh, go-karting and uh, I had a lot of fun so uh, we're gonna be putting this footage of the Margaritaville uh, pier uh, right here so enjoy this bit yeah you clearly can't even see me editor but um, here is uh, Mary T's sunset right over here and then uh, it's very very windy I have to keep holding on to my hat and uh, it might rain so I have my uh, my GoPro but uh, it's really really nice out here so um, stores more stores uh, let's see what's down here. Alright, just discovered the best thing ever. Take a look at this. Jet skis. <laughs> I really want to actually try one of these things, but it costs like $90 to, to go on one of these. Man, that's a lot of money. So, I might want to uh, try and grab a beer over here. <laughs> it's gonna rain soon, so I'm gonna get as much footage as I can of here, this uh, pier and mall. Take a look at that. I feel like going here to Boogies. Please call the number 212-555-HAIR. Get around, round, 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 get around, get around, get around, round, round. That place right there is named just Crazy Lobster. Yeah, I know, crazy. And then you have an oyster bar literally like right there. So uh, there's a carousel right there. I wish I went back at one of those things and uh, you know, um, just sit on a unicorn and just uh, go in circles. I figured out how they do transportation around this place. They use zip lining all the way down to the other side. Not gonna lie, I feel like we just entered Shrek's place. Oh, hello there. So, all that. Trees right down there. I wonder if we're gonna see Bigfoot. What? Yes, editor, I said Bigfoot. And I wonder what's inside that. It's just a, uh, a pine cone down there.
that's the National Naval Aviation Museum. Uh, not sure if they allow photography, but I'm gonna try my best to, uh, to get as much footage as I can. So in about 24 minutes, this place is going to close. Uh, uh, what great timing that we have. Um, but unfortunately, today is the last day here at uh, Florida. And, uh, you know, I think that I'm thinking of moving out here. Yes, editor, I said it. I'm thinking of moving out here because um, this is a great vacation spot. And also that, well, there's a lot of opportunity out here. Well, there's American Top Team in uh, Coconut Creek. And also, you know, I could be a, uh, a very good streamer that lives out in uh, the state of Florida. So, why not? Why not move out here to, uh, to Florida? saying that uh, electronics are illegal and paper still rules. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. Hey DJ, spin that beat. Right above our heads, these are the Blue Angels uh, flight team right here. Uh, if you've ever been out in uh, the, uh, the flight shows before, you may have seen these guys doing uh, tricks uh, like really high in the sky and uh, seeing many documentaries about them. These are the, uh, the guys. Um, and let me tell you, they actually do pretty good stuff. So uh, if you haven't already, go on YouTube and find uh, some footage on the, uh, the Blue Angels. Um, I'll also be putting a link in the description uh, about them. <laughs> machine gun is not big enough to hold at least one person. Okay, yes, there's a chair right there, editor. Hey, look, it's a film crew. Wonder what movie they're shooting up there. Legend has it, that thing is still spinning up there to this day. <laughs> 